Hello and today we'll be checking out the uh, WooCommerce age verification system and uh, basically using uh, this plugin uh, would allow the uh, WooCommerce store admin to verify the age of the potential purchasers so as to ensure that they are about the minimum legal age to purchase a product within the web store itself and the admin can apply the age verification for the product category and the shop pages of the web store and in turn the age verification requirement for purchasing the products uh, will be the seller's defense in the consumer production legislation itself so i'll be showing you the workflow of the uh, plugin uh, that's the age restriction uh, plugin for the woocommerce and uh, thereafter we'll be checking the backend configuration for the same and before we proceed further please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates apart from that uh, please do uh, give a thumbs up to this particular video if you find it helpful so uh, now let's check the uh, workflow of this uh, particular plugin itself so uh, right now you can see that uh, uh, we have a pop-up and the rest of the things in the background are uh, blurred so uh, we have the option to uh, choose a date from here and uh, we can choose uh, the uh, date of birth for the uh, verification purposes now it depends uh, uh, what age restriction has been set by the admin from the backend uh, configuration settings of this particular plugin so uh, if I now tap here on the enter button then I'll be able to check the products uh, within the store itself so uh, the admin also has the option to uh, uh, put the URLs for the leave and the enter buttons so uh, if I tap here on the leave button I can uh, add a URL to another thing as well or another page and same goes for the enter uh, as well so uh, after entering the age here I'll just tap here on the enter button and now you can see that I'm able to see the shop page of the WooCommerce itself. Uh, a few moments ago, it was not uh, visible there. It was uh, totally uh, blurred in the background with that particular pop-up that we saw. So uh, this uh, particular plugin works for the guests as well as for the registered users and the admin has the option to enable it for the uh, registered ones or not. And uh, apart from that, uh, uh, now the customer can choose any of the products and can uh, easily make a check out thereafter the admin can also add the uh, uh, age restriction on uh, particular products as well so I'll be showing you that in a moment from now and uh, from here if I go to the home page uh, now I'll be able to uh, access all the sections there and uh, I can go to the shop page and uh, I can do the uh, uh, I can check the product and I can add them to my cart to make a check out so this was for the guest one if I now go back and uh, I'll just log into my customer account so right now you can see that I've logged into my customer account and now uh, if I go to the shop page uh, you can see the same age restriction is there with a pop-up and this is a customizable pop-up that the admin can set up with the customizable image and the customized uh, text here so I'll be choosing my uh, date of birth and uh, thereafter I'll be tapping here on the enter button to accept uh, the same and after tapping here on the enter button I'll be able to check uh, the uh, particular URL that has been set uh, by the uh, web store admin on the enter button and uh, in situations like if I tap there on the cancel button that uh, I'm not uh, legally uh, uh, fit for that particular uh, age verification then the leave button can also be having a URL that can be set by the admin from the backend panel of uh, this particular plugin so uh, let's go back and uh, uh, here we are on the uh, on the shop page right now now uh, now if I tap here on the leave uh, button you can see that will be again redirected uh, to another page uh, uh, whose URL has been set for the leave uh, button there by the uh, web store admin and uh, now let's go back to the home page uh, of our WooCommerce store now you can see that I've logged into my account uh, initially I was showing you that uh, was for the guest now here you can see that uh, I've logged in but if I go to my shop page I'll not be able to access the products there so I have to uh, enter my uh, date of birth here and only after that I can enter an I can check the products there now if I go back you can see that we will not be able to access any of the parts here so if I go to the home all right I'm sorry for that let's go back if I tap here on the cart 
uh, you can see that we have the uh, uh, age restriction here as well let's go back I can tap here on the checkout I won't be able to do the same and uh, I can just access right now my account now to check the products I have to go to the shop page and from here I'll having I'll be having to verify my age and then uh, I'll be I'll just choose the age and I'll be temp entering thereafter and now you can see uh, that I'm able to uh, check the shop page uh, that was uh, initially not available there and was uh, restricted uh, for the age verification so now after verification you can see that I'm, I can access directly now the shop page and similarly if I tap here in the cart I'll be able to access uh, the cart page as well so you can see that now I can access these parts as well so if I tap here in the checkout as well I'll be able to access that as well the shop page that would also be uh, accessible to the uh, customer now apart from that you can see that uh, some of the products are having uh, the uh, need to verify the age uh, before viewing the uh, particular products so this particular uh, age verification image can be set up by the admin from the backend panel as well and here you can see that one of the products is uh, visible and the other one is not visible so you need to verify your age to view the product so this uh, uh, content can also be set up so if I tap here on this particular product here we on the uh, product page and you can see that we are not able to access any of the uh, content there on the uh, page itself on the product page so uh, we have to uh, do the uh, verification there and only after the uh, age verification we will be able to access this particular uh, product page uh, so this is visible in the case when the uh, products have been set for the age verification and at that time the customer can access the other products and not the ones for uh, which uh, uh, we need to uh, verify the age and even if we go to the product pages we will not be able to check the uh, content there so we'll have to verify our uh, age and only then we can access the same now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let me show you how the admin can make the initial configuration settings for this so for that let's go to the backend and I'll be logging into my uh, admin pa uh, panel so uh, after login you can see that uh, after the successful installation we have the age verification uh, option on the side uh, panel here so I'll just tap here on the age verification and that will bring up the age verification settings as you can see and here we have three different uh, settings one is the general one then we have the content settings and lastly we have the layout settings uh, for the pop-up there so we'll just go through each of them one by one so under the general settings we can enable or disable this age verification uh, uh, feature for our uh, feature for our WooCommerce store and the admin can also set up the required minimum age uh, uh, here so uh, you can enter the minimum age here uh, required uh, to access the uh, product uh, the admin can choose the uh, age verification method as uh, ask the user to enter the date of birth or using a checkbox or using a yes or a no button and uh, the same would then be visible on the uh, pop-up at the checkout uh, on the pop-up there on the shop page or on the product page or the category ones now uh, here's the checkbox message uh, uh, that would be seen uh, please verify your age and uh, this would be uh, there if you are choosing uh, the uh, verification method as uh, the checkbox then you have to set up the checkbox message as well so for now we'll be choosing the ask user to enter the date of birth then we have the options to enable the restriction for the shop page to enable the restriction just check this option uh, otherwise to disable uh, the restriction for the shop page just uncheck same goes for the uh, restriction for all of the products restriction for all of the product categories apart from that you can see that logged in users need to provide their age so if you want to, uh, that the logged in uh, users should also provide the age uh, there for the verification then you can choose a yes otherwise a no just uh, as I've just shown you uh, at the front end now here we have the error URL and uh, basically you can enter the URL here and uh, uh, this uh, can be done for example you want to redirect the user when their age is not verified or uh, you can also leave this uh, empty for a no redirect 
So if I uh, am not verifying my age and I'm tapping on the leave button, then uh, the URL that would be set here would uh, be, uh, the customer would be redirected to, to that. And lastly, here we can tap on the save changes button for uh, the general settings. Now comes the uh, content settings. So here we can set up the pop-up title. Uh, just give me a minute. Uh, I'll just show you the uh, pop-up at the storefront. So this is a pop-up and here's the image and here's the uh, select date of birth. Now let's go to the uh, back end uh, panel. So the pop-up title and uh, we have set it as age restricted uh, uh, product and uh, here you can see the age restricted product uh, uh, is there then we have the uh, pop-up title color so from here you can set up the uh, title color as well uh, you can set up the pop-up content title please enter your date of birth to view the product uh, please enter your date of birth to view your product then uh, we have the uh, pop-up content title color similarly you can set that up then you have the enter button text so uh, the enter button that you can see here you can uh, change the uh, label or the text for the same so uh, here you can uh, enter set it as enter or as per your own requirement there you can choose uh, the uh, button text color for the uh, uh, for the same for the uh, button text so uh, the text that's within the button you can set the color for that it's white right now we're choosing the white color then we have uh, the uh, button background color we can choose the background color that's the blue one uh, then we have the leave button text color and the leave button so here's the leave button and its background is blue and the button uh, text color is uh, white and the background is uh, blue now you can also set up the leave button URL leave so if i'm not a uh, verifying and i'm tapping in the leave uh, button the url that the admin would have set up will be uh, redirected to that so here you can see that it's uh, uh, set as webcool.com so if i tap here in the leave button uh, i'm redirected uh, to uh, the uh, url that's uh, for the uh, webcool uh, there let's go back uh you can also set up the error message uh uh, and the error message uh, that uh, you will be uh, adding here uh, it will be shown if the uh, error URL is empty in the case uh, when the error URL is empty this particular message would be displayed to the customer then we have the extra content this product is restricted for the particular age category so you can set this uh, extra content uh, as per your own uh, requirement there and the same is uh, visible here as you can see and this can be set up from this section here and lastly you can tap here on the save changes for the content settings now coming to the layout settings now the admin can set up the window pop-up width the width of this particular uh, pop-up uh, the pop-up logo that we have set up so you can remove and you can add more uh, or uh, you can add a new pop-up uh, logo as well you can set up the background color that's a white so this is the white background color you can change that up you have the pop-up content background color the contents background color uh, you can also set the border width and uh, you can also choose the border color border style whether you want to have it as solid dotted dashed double groove bridge inset or the outset so the border style uh, for this particular uh, pop-up you can see it's a kind of a uh, blackish one now the color for the uh, border color uh, then we have the pop-up background image so you can choose the pop-up background image as well and you can also add images for the restricted products so as I'd shown you the restricted products uh, on the category page uh, that was a default image there so you can add an image uh, for the restricted products as well and you can set up the restricted product message you need to verify your age to a product so this can be altered as per your requirement there and this would be visible under the product itself uh, for which we have set the restriction also if you see if i'm not entering any date and i just tap here in the enter then we have to enter a valid date and uh, for example if i'm choosing it as this and 
this and I'll just tap here in the enter button okay and uh, here uh, you can see that uh, after the age verification the customer is able to see all of the uh, products for which uh, there's the age restriction now let me show you how the uh, admin uh, can uh, add the restriction to a product so for that I'll just go to the all products I can do it to a new product or uh, to an already created product as well so for example we have the patient ninja I'll just tap here in the edit uh, button there and for this product here we have the age verification so we can choose uh, it as allow or disallow for this particular one and we can restrict the age as well so according to the set uh, age uh, it will work so uh, if uh, the age is uh, 25 and above then the customer can uh, with this particular product uh, on the uh, front end so uh, that was much about the uh, plugin itself uh, that's the age verification plugin for the woocommerce uh, platform based web source and uh, if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then kindly reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvidus.com and uh, please do give it a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead